Hey, this is Levi's of the Lectures, and I'm Levi from TorahFamily.org. Today, we're going to talk about being humble. First, we need to understand what the word humble actually means. Being humble means to not put yourself above others. To not think of yourself better than they are. To know that Yahweh cares for others the same way he cares for you. So we should care the same way for them as we do ourselves. Being humble doesn't always mean to think less of yourself. It can also mean to simply think of yourself less. In other words, don't just think of yourself all the time. Be willing to put what others need and want ahead of what you need and want. Think of others the same way you would think of yourself. The Bible actually talks a lot about being humble. So let's look at some verses and see what Yahweh wants us to learn about being humble. James 4.10 Humble yourselves before the Lord, and he will lift you up. (laughs) That doesn't mean that Yahweh will lift you up off the ground. It means he will cause others to look at you with favor. In other words, when they think of you, they'll think good thoughts of you and enjoy being around you. Ephesians 4.2 Be completely humble and gentle. Be patient, bearing with one another in love. In other words, Don't just be a little humble. Be completely humble. Think of it this way. When you turn on a light in the room, it's either on or off, right? In the eyes of Yahweh, it's the same thing with us being humble. We're either humble or not. So don't just try to be a little humble. Go all the way and do it right. Luke 14, 11. For everyone who exalts himself will be humbled, and he who humbles himself will be exalted. We can be humbled from the start, or we can be humbled in the end. It's like this. Have you ever had to say you were sorry for something? Of course you have. We all have. When you had to say you were sorry, at that moment, you were humbled because of what you did. But if you were being humble in the beginning, you most likely wouldn't have had to say sorry. So we should walk in the ways of being humble all the time. If we don't, we may end up being humbled and have to say we're sorry in the end. Lastly, here's a verse we should all try to memorize. Psalms 25, 9. He guides the humble in what is right and teaches them his way. He guides the humble. Wow! Don't you want Yahweh to guide you in your life? Of course you do! So make it happen by walking in a humble attitude all the time. Walk humbly with those around you, and Yahweh will guide your steps in life. How cool is that? It's okay to say, I don't know. Don't make something up just to try and make someone think good of you. If you have to impress someone to get them to like you, then they're not the kind of friend you need. Walk humbly as you try to walk in the ways of Yahweh. When you do, he'll be there with you. We hope you have enjoyed this teaching. Remember, don't just listen to the word. Do what it says. That's the only way to grow. Until next time, Shalom. Whenever you record, you still have that feeling. Hey, what feeling? You don't feel that thing in your stomach? <laughs> what? Called, 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 like, nervous? nervous? Yeah, nervous. It's like nervous. <laughs> what the boy others need and want. <sighs> Still feel that. <laughs> <laughs> After five more teachings, I shouldn't feel it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's going to be some bloopers in here. <laughs> really, Mom? <laughs> Ah, there's a comma there. What kind of firm? Do you hear me? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Yahweh. Amen. That was good. I'll I'll take it. I'll take it. Okay, here we go. I thought I said when you're in a fight. <laughs> <laughs> when you turn on, this is when you turn on a light. I know. <laughs> <laughs>